All right, this lab, we're going to determine the molar mass of an unknown gas. The gas we're using today is N-dust, which is for electronics. You can spray out the gas, and it helps to clean your electronics. Um, what we're going to do is use the equation PV is equal to NRT. We'll measure the pressure, the volume, and the temperature, and use that to find out how many moles of gas we have. And then we're also going to use the balance here to measure the mass of gas. So we'll put our can of gas on the balance right now. It's 373.4, 373.4. Uh, we're not going to use this entire can of gas. We'll measure the mass again at the end, and we'll figure out how much gas was used. Um, we're going to dispense this gas into a flask. So there's a volumetric flask, 500 milliliters of its volume. I have it filled with water right now. I'm going to inverse, invert this flask into a beaker of water, like this. And now I have my, uh, now I have my uh, air pressure holding the water inside of this flask. And now I can dispense my gas and collect it inside of this flask. So I'm releasing the gas and the gas is displacing the water that's inside the flask. And I'm going to continue dispensing it until I've reached a volume of 500 milliliters. So I want to try to make sure that all my gas is getting into the flask and not escaping around it. You can see the bubbles going up into the container. slow down a little bit, getting a little bit closer. We want to get as close to 500 milliliters of gas as possible. You see the bubbles going in, they're displacing the water. The water is being held in by atmospheric pressure, so we know the pressure inside of this flask is the same as atmospheric pressure. Looks pretty close. We're right to the 500 milliliter mark. So we have 500 milliliters of gas collected in this flask um, by the water that was displaced. We can measure it. We know the pressure inside of this container is the same as atmospheric pressure, which today is 101 kilopascals. Um, and then we can figure out how much gas was used, how many grams of gas was used by putting this back on our balance. And the mass is now 371.7. 371.7. Uh, we'll take the difference in mass to figure out how many grams of gas was used. So we had the mass at the beginning, mass at the end. The difference in mass is the mass of gas that's now trapped inside of this flask. The pressure of this flask is 101 kilopascals. Uh, the temperature of the gas in this flask is 19 degrees Celsius. 19 degrees Celsius is the temperature of this gas. And the volume was 500 milliliters because it's a 500 milliliter flask. We can use PV is equal to NRT to figure out how many moles of gas we have, and then we'll do grams divided by moles to find the molar mass.